Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the final part of my honest opinions on all the Godzilla suits. And today we're going to be talking about the final installment of the Godzilla series, the Millennium Series suits, which are very mixed up in my opinion. <laughs> um, so let's start going on it right away with the G2000 suit, um, the Millennium suit. With this Godzilla suit, I will have to say um, it's really, really cool. Uh, unlike in the 1998 American monstrosity, this Godzilla is what it should have been. A more modernized look at Godzilla, yet they changed the crap out of it, but yet they keep the overall Godzilla design intact, which they succeed in with this Godzilla suit. Now, this is something I really appreciate with this Godzilla suit, is the fact that we keep the Godzilla ears in there. I really like that. That's always a plus. And the fact that this Godzilla suit looks extremely bulky, but in a good way. This Godzilla has the bulk to it, but yet we also see the sense of the muscles, which is something that I really, really, really love. Now, my biggest complaint with this Godzilla suit is that I do believe that the arms are a tad bit too scrawny, but yet the muscles are still, you can still see the muscles flexing and stuff within the arms that I like it enough. So that's okay. I do like it how this Godzilla is a bit hunched over. This Godzilla is a good type of hunched over where it always looks like it's ready for a fight. And I definitely love that because the face looks mean and intimidating and aggressive, and I just really love the the overall shape of the face, which is something that was lacking in the last few Godzilla suits. The eyes, it's it. The eyes almost remind me of a cat's. Yeah, I know Zazabar will disagree on that and look at me like I'm a retard, but they do. They just, there's just sort of a, a feline touch to them that I really like because felines are stocky and and smart and. Actually, overly smart. They outsmart me several times because I have three cats. But anyways, I, I like the design. Uh, it really makes... Again, something that I like is the skin texture of this Godzilla suit, and especially how it looks really, really uh, mutated and messed up due to nuclear fallout, which is something that I really like. Now, definitely the highlight of this Godzilla suit is definitely its friggin' spikes. Oh my god! Its spikes are so awesome! They're so huge, but yet not so overly huge that they overpower the body. That is awesome. They fit in with this Godzilla suit. That's awesome. I love it. Now, its tail is extremely thin, which is a bit of a drawback, but it's still okay, and extremely long, which is something I also really, really like. So overall, this Godzilla suit is really, really amazing, and I, and I really, really do like it. But unfortunately, when it is used in Godzilla vs. Megaguirus, you sort of lose that awesomeness to it. For some reason, its spikes are a slight pink color in that version. I don't really like that. For some reason, I always figured that it was left from Orga, from Godzilla 2000, but then I realized that Godzilla vs. Megaguirus is in its own continuity, so I don't really understand why they are pink, which is something that really draws me back. So maybe those spikes were pink all along, but just because most of the scenes where we see Godzilla, it's at night time, that just makes him look more epic, and that most of the time when we see Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Megaguirus is during the daytime, maybe the daytime adds a little bit more of a phoniness to this Godzilla suit. I don't know. That's just my my sort of ideals or gatherings that I've gotten while looking at this suit. So overall, it's a good suit, except they sort of ruined it in Godzilla vs. Megaguirus. On to my second favorite Godzilla suit of all time. Actually, no, uh, yeah, my second favorite Godzilla suit of all time. The GMK, Giant Monsters Are All Out Attacks, uh, uh, Attack Suit. My god! This Godzilla looks evil, no matter which way you look at it. Either portrait side, back side, any way you throw the camera on this Godzilla suit, it looks like it's evil. And that's something I really like. I never thought in a million... I actually, when I was a kid, I hated this Godzilla suit, and partially because it scared the absolute living shit out of me. I hated this Godzilla suit because it had no eyes, but now as I've grown up and matured, as I said in my top ten favorite scenes with Zazubar, which I'll put the link below in the video because that is a rather cool chat, um, it scares the living shit out of me and it makes more sense why they put white eyes. Now something that I really like uh, with this suit is that they made it like pitch black. Its skin is like pitch black. And that is something that I'd like. In fact, I love the coloration of the skin on this Godzilla, and that is what color my Godzilla skin would be on my Godzilla movies. 
that I am going to make and in the process of making. Now that is really, really, really awesome. Um, I, I, I really like the designs of its feet. Its feet are really cool with the massive claws that are really awesome. And the same with its hands. Its hands have the really massive, massive claws to them, which I really, really like. And the arms, unlike in the G2000 suit, the 2001 suit, its arms actually fit in with the body. Everything looks proportionately correct in this Godzilla suit. And something that I really like about it is its spikes. Its spikes are sharp, jagged, and only add that much more of a fierce sense to this Godzilla, which is something that I really like. Another touch that I really liked with this Godzilla suit lacking in the 2000 suit is that it has the dragon teeth on the front that, even if it closes its mouth, they still stick out of the side of its mouth. Now, I really appreciate that, and I really like that. Something that, again, I will have in my Godzilla suit. Or in my Godzilla, in my Godzilla series. Its tail is really cool. Again, it's really, really long and really, really short. Uh, really, really long and thin. I like that. This Godzilla suit looks muscular. It looks bulky at the same time. And so, again, it just looks mean and intimidating. No matter which way you look at it, you just really friggin' want to run. This is an amazing suit. Its skin texture is perfect, in my opinion. Really looks like it's been mutated and been through hell and back, which is something that I really, really appreciate. So, on to the 2002 and 2003 Godzilla suit. And this suit was used in Godzilla against Mechagodzilla and Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Now, I remember it as a kid watching Godzilla Tokyo SOS and against Mechagodzilla that I really did not like this suit. I thought it was rather bland. But when recently watching the two movies, I found myself actually finding this to be my second favorite suit out of Millennium Series. The reason why is because it takes what was really epic in the 2000 suit and slims it down to make it even more epic. And that is something that I really like about this Godzilla suit. Its arms are perfect. Its legs are perfect. Its chest isn't so massive that you sort of look past it. And it just looks overall really muscular and really badass. So no matter which angle you're looking at that, at this Godzilla, just like the 2001 suit, it looks like it's going to kill you, which is really, really awesome and, and really, really, really great. The only downfall to this Godzilla suit, in my opinion, is its spikes. Uh, its spikes could have been a little bit bigger and a little bit more jagged, but I was able to look past that because they still are relatively big and relatively jagged. So overall, there isn't really much to say about this suit other than it's, it stands more upright, which is something that I was really looking forward to. Um, we still have the ears, which is a nice touch. And I really love the design of the uh, sort of scales on the forehead. It looks really cool. And again, this Godzilla suit has the eyes of like a feline, which is another plus. The shape of the nose is good. Uh, especially in uh, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. They add scars to Godzilla's chest, which I think is really cool and adds that much more of a characterization to this Godzilla. And something that I would really like to note about this Godzilla suit is that I really love the shape of the mouth and the shape of the tongue. Uh, it looks... it Overall, this suit is amazing. Uh, again, it has, it has great skin texture, which is something I like. The tail is great. Um, overall, the spikes are pretty good. Uh, the feet are really good. So this is just, uh, overall, a really, really, really good and intense-looking suit, which is something that I really, really like about this Godzilla suit. And the fact that these two movies are good enough, uh, are, are actually really, really good entries in the Godzilla series. So this is definitely a plus that they had a Godzilla suit good enough, you know, not to get distracted by it. Now on to the monstrosity. I mean, oh, oh, I just said it. Shit. Uh, yeah, I don't really like this next Godzilla suit. From the Godzilla 2004 suit... Zazabar, I know you're going to kill me, but I fucking hate this suit. The O4 suit is my least favorite Godzilla suit, and here's why. Everything about it is wrong. It's scrawny. It's short. Its face looks like an alligator. Its skin texture is wrong. Its spikes are short and fat. Its, its tail is too short and too skinny. Everything with this goddamn suit is wrong, and I hate it. While watching the movie, I was actually so mad at the suit, the first time that I popped the movie in, I stopped watching it. And I actually don't watch it that much anymore. It is my least... Okay, you know, Godzilla's Revenge is my least watched Godzilla movie. But it's my second least watched Godzilla movie. Not only because the suit is bad, but because the movie overall is really, really bad and stupid. 
Ugh, I hate this suit. And the fact that it's the last Godzilla suit is only adding insult to injury. Ugh, it just drives me up the wall and drives me absolutely insane, the fact that I'm looking at this suit and it doesn't even remotely represent what I lo all the things that I love about Godzilla. It's scrawny. It looks absolutely retarded. The only thing that I can say that they kind of got right with this Godzilla is that the eyes do look really, really mean. But that's only on close-ups. So I can't even say that's good. So this suit is just awful. This is, in my opinion, the worst Godzilla suit. There, I said it. This is my least favorite Godzilla suit. I hate the suit. Every time I watch it, I just want to cringe in agony. Um, and it's, it's just not a good suit to end on. Unlike on the other series, they sort of made a Godzilla suit good enough to end on. On uh, the 74-75 Godzilla suit, they made they changed the face so that Godzilla looked mean, which is a good touch. And the fact that they shot it way better than the one on Godzilla vs. Megalon, uh, it it looked really mean. In the Heisei series, they made Godzilla look B.A. anyways. They changed its face up again and made him look really, really powerful. And the unfortunate thing is, they didn't do that on this one, which was really, really sad. Uh... So yeah, there's my Godzilla suits. Those are my opinions on all the Godzilla suits. I hope you enjoyed this three-parter. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next for a chat. Oh yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> but probably by this time it'll already be up and uploaded. Who knows? Um, but hey, it was alright. So overall, what I like about looking at all these Godzilla suits is definitely differences in eras. If you really look at it, the suits from the 50s really represent the 50s. The suits from the 60s really represent the 60s. The suits from the 70s definitely represent the 70s. The suits from the 80s look like the 80s. Suits from the 90s look like the 90s. And the suits from the millennia really look like modernized suits from the millennia, other than the last monstrosity of a suit. Um, but I just find it really cool looking back at all these suits and actually comparing them side by side. It makes everything just look really really cool and the fact that they still use those suits for kaiju in japan actually really speaks to how cg isn't necessarily always better um in fact in most cases i do actually think that these suits look better than the cg that that we get which is something that is really really i just want to tip my hat to while while watching these um these movies, which is something that I think we all should appreciate, is that suitmation is sometimes the way to go. Sometimes when something is organically in front of the screen, it looks better than something that has been added in later, which is something that I really appreciate with, you know, directors like Peter Jackson, um, even in some cases Steven Spielberg, and it used to be George Lucas, but... It's just overall, this, it's really fun watching these movies. You know, some of them are, um, are, some Godzilla movies are definitely better than others. Some Godzilla movies are just really, really good, period. They have good stories, good plots, good characters, and stuff like that. And then some of them are just fun to watch because of the nostalgia factor, especially like Godzilla vs. Gigan and uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon. But no matter what, Godzilla is something that will always remain to be in my heart as, as literally an icon. I know a lot of people will say that Godzilla has been their childhood icon, but I will always defend it on the fact that Godzilla is my adult icon. No matter what happens, I always defend Godzilla tooth and nail, tooth and claw, and atomic breath to fire. When people make fun of us because we are Godzilla fans, I always laugh it off, and I just point to the original Godzilla as proof that not all of these movies were meant for kids, and that not all of these movies are meant for the 70s era high people. I love Godzilla, in case you guys haven't noticed by listening to these videos, and Godzilla is something that I will always appreciate for my entire life until the day I die. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this. Uh, clearly, you guys have no lives. Um, so, thank you very much. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to stay tuned for Lake of Death. We're a bit on hiatus right now, but we will continue filming soon. Um, make sure to check out our chat. My chat with Zazabar, both of them. They're really, really good and really, really intimate on my opinions on Godzilla's as well as his. Make sure to check out his channel. He's totally awesome and just recently did a monstrosity review on Tron. And sayonara. Uh, God bless you all.